Hello there folks. This video today is going to talk about how you can have one HMI that's your master and you can have other HMIs that show the exact same screens but can either be used as displays or as a uh, control if you will. So if you look at this example I've got three HMIs plugged in here and I got one of them that's called the master and if I click on this guy here this one's slave number 18 and if I click way over here with the menu button on this guy, I don't think you can see in the video, but this one is Slave 20. So the reason I've called them Slave 18 and 20 is because that's the last octet of their IP address on my network. Anyway, what I'm doing here, uh, if I go to the TV room on the main one here, so if I click on the TV room here, you can see the control, and I can say put in a change. Maybe I want the air conditioner to go on at 90 degrees, and you'll see there'll be a uh, a uh, snowflake here when the air conditioner kicks on. There it is, and the air conditioner's on and so forth. And if I go back to the main menu here, uh, this guy is in control. And down here, I've got a thing, a tag I created that says, Who has control? And I can leave it as the master HMI, or I can dedicate these other screens to have control. So, for instance, before I make a change, if I go over here to Slave 18, for instance, and if I click on the TV room in the Slave 18, if I wanted to change the name of the room, you can see I'm clicking, nothing happens. If I want to change here, nothing happens. What I've got to do is over here on the master, if I hit this, this here, and if I change this to say, give control to slave 18, when I hit enter, watch what happens to this page. Enter. There we go. Oops, I got to hit it. It should hit. There it goes. And now this registers, and now I made this background turn green, indicating that now this guy can have control. So if I wanted to go in here now, and I could change the set point to 80, you'll see both here at the master and at the other display, it shows the change. Or if I wanted to change the name of the room here, to maybe theater, for instance, I can make a change there, and it changes throughout. So if I wanted to make this guy have control, I'll go over here to the master guy, and I'll hit the pull down right here, and I'll say, you know what? I want to have slave 20 have control. So I hit enter, it registers. This turns to gray, this turns to green. Now this one has control. Of course, I go to the theater room. And if I want to change the name here back to TV room, boom, I've hit, and you can see it changes, it changes on all the menus. So, and if I want all of the screens to have control, I can hit the pull down here, and I can go to, uh, let's see here, all shared, and now, these two will both have green here, indicating either one. And, of course, this guy, I didn't change the background color of this but because it's always some control. But, uh, anyway, I can make any change to it now. So, if I wanted to change this to 70, I can do that. And it changes throughout. This should change 70, at 70 here, and so forth. So, how I did that, let me show you how I navigated to make this happen. So, I've got a, a tag here called who, who has control. Let me go open up the Crimson database. So, here's the database for the master HMI and I've got just a tag over here called who has control and what I did on this tag is on the format tab I have declared three states 0 1 and 2 and 3 here actually four states I should say and those are those text words we saw come up what I'm also doing uh, because this screen is the master screen I went over here to communications and on this particular screen, it's talking to some I.O. and so forth. But down here in the services section, I went into a section here called OPC Works Proxy. And what I did is I allowed that to be shared here. And I set up uh, four sessions. So apparently, this OPC Proxy, we can have up to four uh, HMIs pulling at the same time. Uh, given the session limit is limited to four, if I try to make that a bigger number, you'll see that it pings me with four is the max. So apparently four is the number. So I went ahead and saved that in this database here. And then to get the other programs to see it, what I did is I went over here to, let's go to one of the HMIs here. And I went over to communications. And what I did under communications here is I chose under one of the protocols, hit the pick. I selected the OPC works protocol here, did that. And then when I click here, I changed the name of this to Master HMI. I made sure the IP address here matched that guy. The big catch here is that right here where it says 
device address space, I browsed to the original master HMI program. So I browsed to that Crimson database there. And uh, I don't want to do that, but I'll just leave it like that. And then over here in data tags, what I had to do, all of these tags originally were looking at local I.O. I just simply went and pulled down and made them map to the master HMI. Then for the logic, what I did is I wrote a program. Over here in programs, I wrote one called HMI control. And I just used a little switch case method here. And basically the switch case function, you feed it a variable here, and it's basically just a giant if-then loop. That's all this really is. So if this is equal to 1, I set a tag called control to, uh, well, here 1, I set it to 1, if you will. That means this one has control. If I look at another screen, you'll see that the other ones. So this would be slave 18. And so that's the control bit, which is right here, this flag tag. If I go to display pages, then what I did on this page, if you're a student who's attended my class, you know we make this as a widget. Well, I went ahead and added here into my widget, my usual widget that we do. I went ahead and added uh, a eighth variable variable here called control enable. I just made a variable here called control enable, made it a tag and uh, an integer and a tag here. And then what I did is I just dragged the control bit from here to here. So that's the control. But what I had to do then in this screen, there are basically four or five different things that can be changeable. Everything else is display only. So what I did, for instance, the room name, if I double click on it, you're going to see if I go to the entry tab here in the enable, I used the widget tag called control enable here. So if this is a zero, means I can't change this. If this turns to a one, this becomes editable, I like that word. And I did the same thing for the AC set point. I used the control enable there. I used it also down here on the heat set point, control enable. And I also did it over here on the old HOA heat off AC button. See, enable right there. So that tag called control enable, if I back all the way out, once again, I'll right click on the whole widget. And you'll see there's that tag control enable, which is then tied to this tag here called control. So that's what basically allows me to uh, dedicate the control here. If I want to do another room, let's say if I go here, room two, I haven't done room two on slave 18. So this one is in the default state right now. So I'm going to simply right click, go to properties. I'm going to hit the edit button here. And I'm going to go ahead and say eight. I'm going to add another variable, another widget variable. So I'll put a number eight. Notice you get blank. And once again, I'm just going to stay with the same wording. So I'm going to call this control underscore enable. Oops, enable. Enter. I'm going to delete this here so that it shows this name later. And of course, it's going to be into your tag. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose tag. Okay. That's it. I got that set up there. This eventually will fix. I'll click OK. By the way, this is a widget tag called control underscore enable. So I'll click OK. There it is right there. I'll click OK again. Now, I'm going to go into each one of these elements and use that. So with the red border means I'm holding the widget. Now I want to go into the widget, so I'll click on something inside. Notice I get the green border. So I want to go into this guy right here. So you can either double click or right click and go to properties. And I'm going to go here to the entry tab. That's where I'm at right here. And right here where it says enable, this is the part that always throws people. But normally I'll have you drag and drop, but there's not a tag over here called control enable. It's a widget tag. So I'm going to type control enable. Luckily I can remember those. Watch. If I hit enter, if it accepts it, that means it's good. Watch. One, two, three. Boom. It took it. Okay. So I'll click OK. It should have turned blue. Why didn't you turn blue? There you go. Turn blue. All right. Click OK. Yeah, I'll do the next one. This one here. Let me just point something out to you. Here I am in the entry tab in the control. Just to prove my point here. Let's say, folks, that I spelled enable slightly wrong, like deny. Some terrible spelling. So if I control enable, <laughs> notice when I hit enter, Crimson barked at me. The reason it barked is because, hey, uh, you don't have this tag declared either over here or it's not declared as part of the widget. This tells me that I spelled it wrong. Oh, man, I did spell it wrong. So it should be control enable. Ah. 
And then when I hit enter, it takes it. And there I'll go there. And then I'll do the same thing with this guy. I'll go right here to enable. You could also easily just copy and paste. But boom. Let's try that. Here, I'm going to copy this word. Copy. Okay. Then I'll go to this guy. We'll do the same thing here. Control V. Paste it. Enter. It takes it. Hit OK. And that's it. I should now be able to control room 2 on slave 18 as well. So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go ahead and download this to the screen. Oh, you know what? Uh, one more thing. I want to change the background color of this uh, to change with the tag uh, called... Uh, did I do that right? Hold on. Let me check. Let me look here. Did I do anything on colors? Hmm. Yeah, that'll be okay. Yeah, let me go in here. And I'm going to go... Uh, let me ponder my thoughts on that. Well, let me go here. You know, uh, well, let me try something. I'll go here. Let me do tag foreground. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I need to work on that. I'll fix that. This this is probably a boo-boo because this is linked to a concrete tag. I need to make that part of the widget. But anyway, for this example, yep, I should add that into here. Um, yeah, anyway, all right, so uh, now if I close this, means just click away, I'll save it, I'm going to download it to the screen, and this is number 18, so if we go back to our browser here, there's slave 20, there's the master, there's slave 18, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to the well, TV room here, and if I go to the second room, the kitchen, notice it's green, okay, if I go to the kitchen here, so you can see it over here in the background here. If I make a change here, and uh, let's say I want to change the word here. It should let me type here. Oh. Um, let me ponder my thoughts. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out why isn't that working. Hold on. This here. Yeah. We're in room two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what the problem is. <laughs> wait, wait. I forgot one important step. When I set up the control enable, I forgot to use the tag here called control. So I'll drag control right here. That's it. Yep, that works. And remember, control is getting set from this program. That's exactly it. Let's try this. Download. It wouldn't let me put in because I didn't actually give it the clearance. Clarence. All right, let's see here. Okay, so here we are again, and I'm in the kitchen. If I go to the kitchen room here, if I want to change this to, say, uh, den, for instance, this time. Boom, the den changes. Now, this is, of course, still looking at the TV room here. So if I go back to the master HMI, and I say, you know what? Um, I only want slave 18 out there to have access, so I'll change this to slave 18. Enter, you'll see this turns gray because I don't have control there anymore. And now this guy has the control. Uh, yep. And so if I go back to here and turn this back to just the master, only the HMI, the master then, has control. This should turn to gray. There it goes. And then the den, if I want to change this to something else, uh, I don't know, bathroom, for instance. And you can see it changes. Now this one didn't change here because this guy is not looking at the bathroom. There's the bathroom. It's the second page down. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in these databases to look at, send me an email or something. I'll be glad to share with you all three of these uh, databases. Uh, yeah. One more thing I will point out to you. I, maybe I didn't say it. Let me go back to the slave one. Over here in data tags, normally all of these tags are linked locally. But what I did here, because I'm using the OPC driver, I hit the pull down. And I linked them to here. And then once I click the master, I'll hit the pick button here. You can see it shows all the tags there. So uh, that is something that uh, I did. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions, let me know, team. I'll be glad to share these uh, databases with you uh, as well. Uh, yep. All right. Have a great day.